Hey guys, Cinder Ash here. And with everybody getting into Helldivers 2, I just kind of wanted to toss in my own two cents to try and help people and help them plan their pathing to get whatever they may want immediately, as well as trying to help them progress up through the tiers to make sure that they can lock everything that they would absolutely want to have while they're playing. So let's get started. First thing you might notice is the acquisition center. So there's three different tabs. This one is if you don't play enough and you want to pay to get stuff. Uh, here's the superstore, which you could use those super credits on, and some of these armors, and it's only the armor, it's not the helmets, but just the chest plates that actually offer different things for them. You can press tab or control to look at them and see what they do. This one offers servo assisted. It's a heavy armor, so it has a better higher armor rating, lower speed, lower stamina regen than other armors. Whereas this one, this is a light armor. It just provides a higher armor rating, better speed, and better stamina regen. So always keep that in mind for when you're picking your armor for your mission. Next thing is the War Bonds. There's two of them. One is the premium version, which is uh, a huge L. Don't, don't bother with this. Uh, and, of course, the actual uh, regular one. Things you're going to want to rush immediately. Uh, you don't want to do what I did. Weapons, always very, very good. Armors. Super credits and any fragmentation grenades or any other types of grenades. In order, I would almost always say that weapon goes first, then super credits, then armor you could buy, and then explosives. Just because I personally believe the first explosive you get is the best explosive. You can kind of go through the tiers and choose which ones you kind of want to pick and choose and play with. Um, I'm personally using uh, something from the premium pass to like get in the regular pass just because I got bamboozled into thinking the premium pass was better than the base game and it is absolutely not. So don't buy anything in the in the uh, premium pass at all is my uh, my first tip. Next thing you want to do is you want to immediately get a booster, especially this one. If you don't have anybody on your team with this one, it's almost always should be standard in it. What this bad boy does, it allows all the hell divers to come out of their hell pod fully stocked on ammo grenades and stims from the start of the match and whenever they die as well. Allows you to come back in with full stuff so you don't need to worry about always calling in supplies or anything else like that. And you can kind of just pick over and go as you go. My next recommendation would be to rush and grab this bad boy. So this is an assault rifle. Damage is extremely low, but has very high capacity, very low recoil, very high fire rate, and is one of the very few guns in the game that have medium armor pen, which makes this thing extremely strong and extremely reliable, especially after tier five, when things start becoming mostly armor plated. So this allows you to penetrate through most things except Vile Titans, Crushers, Hulks, and one other automaton that I can't remember the name of right now. Next thing you wanna do is start planning your ship modules. These things are going to be what benefit you the most when you're out in the field and there are some that I even I don't have but I'm grinding hard to get and have not been able to get yet immediately but the first one is definitely going to be donation access license it just allows your uh weapon stratagems to come in immediately with full magazines instead of being at half magazines it's just an overall dub to have Next up is the hangers. Uh, I know a lot of people probably don't like the idea of the eagles, but honestly, the eagle stratagems are probably some of the best in the game, if not the best in the game, especially cluster and 500 kilogram. They're just so useful to just not have is just kind of an insult. Extremely good, extremely well used, everything you could ever need from them. Very, very good. You also want to then rush to pit crew, get this one, so it just takes the rearm time 20% less, because after you use your, like, four, for example, for cluster bombs, you have to go rearm it, which takes some time, no big deal, and then it comes back and you can start using it again. Last but not least, extended weapons bay. This just allows you to have uh, two 500 kilogram bombs, five cluster bombs, like six smoke bombs, you know, stuff like that. It just increases the, the uses by one before they have to go rearm. Highly recommend just rushing this entire hangar tree as fast as possible. It is so useful. Next up for stuff to rush is the synthetic supplementation. It just reduces the cooldown time because we want to eventually get down to advanced construction where it allows us to get 50% more health on these entries. You, you might have a couple of teammates who are just like assholes or just don't have the greatest of aim. Um, and they might accidentally shoot your uh, your sentry. So 
you know, having that extra 50% health might help it from exploding immediately or just breaking out right when people uh, walk by it and melee it or just anything like that. Highly recommend it. Beyond that, dynamic tracking wants to be the next one. You reduce your deployment time for all these sentries, just makes it so it spawns in faster and pops out of the ground faster. Very nice. Shock absorption, obviously 50% more ammo for all these is very, very good. In particular, the auto cannon sentry, having this extra 50% makes it so you can kill two bio titans from full HP to dead with just one of the auto cannon sentries before it goes away. Extremely good. Highly recommend rushing this one as fast as you can. And then quickly, right after that, you also want to try and get high quality lubricant just because, again, it allows them to rotate to more targets quickly. If you've ever seen the auto cannon sentry try to move, it's like your grandmother. Uh, it. it only moves when it wants to move. So definitely recommend grabbing that one uh, as soon as you can. Stratagems. I've been slowly purchasing all these, but honestly, if you just want the bare essentials to get you through most missions, you're going to pretty much start off with the machine gun. That's fine and dandy. This thing's great. Highly recommend it until you can get all the way up to the auto cannon. This thing's really, really good. Uh, it allows you to just kind of Toss it on your friend's back. He can reload it for you and whatnot. Um, but if you want to wait even further, like an extra five levels, you can get Railgun. This thing's really disgusting. It's probably one of my favorite of the uh, Patriotic Administration Center. And again, if you have a friend that's willing to, to hold shit for you, the spear is absolutely disgusting. Um, highly recommend this one as well. Beyond that, we want to go straight down. We want to get to the uh, Eagle Cluster Bomb. This thing is just disgustingly good. Very great. Can't destroy buildings, but definitely will clear out a lot of people really, really quickly. And then, of course, the 500 kilogram bomb. Just, uh, you know, you can see it killed that Bile Titan. Most of the time, it won't happen like that, but it'll, uh, <laughs> it'll clear out holes. It'll break up stuff. It'll be pretty damn good. Another one I recommend, but is very, very situational for missions, and we'll talk about mission types soon after, is the Gas Strike. Very, very useful for clearing out Tyranines. Um, clearing out certain bases of robots. Highly recommend it for those kinds of things. Next one is the grenade launcher. Obviously, as you can see in this video, you just chuck it in the hole and it explodes, blows it up. Uh, very, very nice. Uh, very easy to use. You very rarely will ever kill yourself with it, and it's great for tiered nests. Next one also would have to be the guard dog rover. This one's not too too bad um i think the uh ballistic version is a little bit better but if you want to get this one because it does come before the ballistic vest one also very good to pick up last one being the shield generator for this uh part of the engineering bay this thing works against guns and works against tyranids hitting you in the in the face and yes i know they're not called tyranids i'm gonna call them tyranids i was a warhammer player it's just where my mind goes when I see their actual name. It just looks like Pyranids to me. So, Guard Dog. Very, very useful. Again, ballistic weapon. Very, very good. Keeps with you the entire time. Doesn't ever actually really break. So, as long as you uh, have this on you, then you're good to go. Auto Cannon. Like I said, you can just see what it's doing to just that charger right there. But against the Bile Titan, like I said, it just, it just absolutely destroys. Next one, Rocket Sentry. I like to pair this with the auto cannon just because of how fast it goes. It literally allows you to uh, nuke all your targets while you're doing defensive stuff. So these are the ones that I would recommend rushing to and immediately getting the second you can. Next thing to look at is, of course, going to be your weapons. Weapons matter a ton, especially depending on what mission you're going on and the mission difficulty. Stuff with light armor penetration, these are good for low levels. I'd say four and below. Once you start hitting five and above, these medium armor penetrating weapons are going to be where you shine and where you're going to want to mostly run with anyway. For a secondary, I highly recommend the uh, P19 Redeemer. Very easy to pick up very early on. High capacity, pretty damn decent damage, very low recoil, very high fire rate. Um, this thing has a deceptive capacity. So you might be like sitting there shooting with this thing for a while and think, damn, I need to reload. And you're, you're only like halfway through your clip. So just keep an eye on it. But this thing is very, very, very good. I recommend it. Like I said, I think the, uh, the G12 high explosive is the best grenade. Just because of the timer, the damage output, stuff like that. It's great for tearing in nests, which is most often what I've been using my grenades for. I don't really chuck them at the enemies as much as I probably should. But 
I also use a railgun, so it kind of compensates for that. So, first thing you're going to want to do is once you look for a planet, and since these are the new planets that are out today because we finally cleared through the first line of bug defense, which, good job everybody, I'm very proud of you. Uh, you got to look at the environmental conditions. So, intense heat, you've got to increase stamina drain and speed up of heat building weapons. So, stuff like the last site, they're not going to be that great. Same with the arc conduits, stuff like that. So, you kind of want to avoid these ones. Then you also have operation modifiers, depending on uh, what missions you take on. This one, for example, stratagem call-in time is increased by 100%. So it might not be the best one I aim for compared to something like this on Tier 6 where the map is obscured by bug spores. But again, another problem comes in where we reach breakpoints. Breakpoints are determined by your samples. So 1 through 3, you can only get normal samples. 4 through 6, you can get normal and rares, and then 7 through 9, you're able to get those super samples. So sometimes it's more worth it to play on a tier above or a tier below compared to uh, the absolute minimum, just to make sure that you are getting the best effects and making sure that you have the best success rate to get the resources you need to upgrade your ship. So, things to keep in mind. So things that you would want to take on missions are also going to be extremely situational based. For example, terminated eggs. Eggs, you're going to want explosives, things that go boom very quickly and take out a lot of eggs. Cluster bombs are not that great, but the 500 kilograms are pretty damn good for it. Uh, grenade launchers, uh, any assault weapons are also extremely good. Things that you don't have to get into the nest to destroy the eggs are more better than not, but you got to make sure that they're hitting the center or they're hitting where the eggs are actually are. Because more often than not, these structures that the eggs are in are kind of got a curvature to them. So like, unless you have something that is getting into the middle and then exploding, is not going to hit as many, is going to hit more eggs than something that is going over top and kind of clustering. So things like this that you wouldn't want to take are going to be grenades, restocks for grenades, Grenade Launcher, the 500 kilogram Eagle Strike. You can even use the Orbitals. Uh, you can use the Gas Strike. It does take a while for them to break the eggs, but it is an option. Jetpacks are also extremely good, but I prefer not to use the jetpacks. Once you get used to the jetpacks, you're always going to have to want to have them. And once you've gotten accustomed to it, trying to build out around away from the jetpacks can be a little bit difficult. They're kind of a crutch, but they're also extremely good, which is kind of a downside because it's taking up a stratagem for you if you absolutely need some other ones. Things like uh, extractions, such as this one, these are more defensive-based positions and missions. So for these ones, of course, you're going to want more sentries, stuff like that. You're going to want like auto cannons. you're going to want rockets, you're going to want shield barriers, you're going to want cluster bombs, you're going to want... The 500 kilogram bomb. Again, I'm going to pretty much say the 500 kilogram bomb like every time because it is just a end all be all of just really good right now with zero downsides. Railguns, spears, anything like that. Really, really good. Highly recommend it. Last one is these like search and destroys or like even like um, kill so many enemies kind of things. They're, they're pretty much going to be a mixture of uh, bringing heavy assault and defensive items so you're going to want a couple sentries you're going to want grenade launchers rail guns 500 kilograms clusters anything that can help you settle on an area and hold it down is going to be significantly better than just kind of uh running about but again for something like this you know grenade launchers semi full assault it's mostly a little bit of defense because you're gonna have to extract the last tip is to always do your personal orders. 15 medals for basically just killing 20 scouts, which, I mean, I can just go right here to Urbania and hop right in, kill 20 scouts, and then I got my 15 medals for the day. It's really just that simple. A lot of these things are just really, really quick and really, really easy. But those will help you get everything you need in your packs and just kind of keep going from there. Well, I hope these tips help you uh, create a better super democracy, get yourself some liberty, and uh, kick some ass out there. You guys take care. Stay awesome. Bye, guys.